Welcome back to more of The Sims 4. This is episode 45, um, and we are spending this episode, obviously, in the household here with Leo and Charlotte and Tara. So yeah, if you missed previous episodes, uh, Tara aged up recently into a child, so she's heading off to grade school now. She started it there. Um, Charlotte is starting another painting, so we'll see how that turns out. Um, it's not gone horribly wrong just yet, so we'll see. Um, you know, there's two ends of the spectrum, I think, when it comes to Charlotte's art. So I'm looking forward to seeing what happens with that. Um, when you're done with that, you can fill the pet bowls up. Um, Leo is just kind of chilling up here. He aged up into an elder in the last episode alongside his sister. Um, so I've given him a few changes of clothes and stuff, just a bit more comfortable. And for this episode, actually, we need to start off. Um, you, sir, need to retire. Because you're done. You can relax. Um, we're very comfortable money-wise, for sure, because um, Leo did very well in his career. Um, you know, he got to the top level and then some. Um, so yeah, PhD of Pollen. He'll receive a pension check every day based on his salary at time of retirement. Time to kick back and relax. Speaking of kick backing and relaxing, here's Honey the Cat, who, if you do remember, ran away um, a couple of episodes back, but she's returned to us, thankfully. Um, and yeah, absolute mood right there. So yeah, the start of this, um, just as I kind of started getting set up for this episode, she came back after being away for a couple of days, but thankfully she seems all good. Um, if things do take a turn, we can take her to the vet, obviously. Uh, she did appear with a little mysterious like parcel thing here. Mysterious box found by a faithful pet companion. Who knows what could be inside? Because um, Charlotte was the one who actually found Honey. So if we open that, a fire opal. Oh wow. Rarity uncommon. Look at this. Let's just place this on the table. Damn, that's huge, actually. So we have, like, a big old crystal thing here. Um, hmm. I feel like, because Leo's an alien, can't he do something? Yeah, he can transmute that. I don't exactly know what that means, but we're going to find out now. Um, I feel like he can do something to these rocks. Um, so let's see what he does here. Ah, yeah, he turns it into, like, a focused cube. Um, so he's basically made the Tesseract, which I'm here for. Um, Leslie's not here for it, because she just died. Um, we started off an element collection. I mean, it's probably a bit late in life to start that, to be honest, Leo. But you do you. You're retired now. You can do whatever the hell you want. And once again, we have a filthy dog. So you probably should um, give him a bath. Oh, Flash. As you can see, Leo's still very sad, because... He lost his dad recently, so still recovering from that, very much so. Um, poor old Jay, there he is. Um, oh, and Charlotte, you never quite, you just gave up on that, didn't you? Small surrealism painting, so you can do that. Um, but yeah, Tara, busy at school, hopefully she'll be doing well. Let's have her make some friends, actually. Um, I don't think she really knows anyone outside of her family, because she hasn't really been to school that much yet. So hopefully she can make some friends. Leo is giving Flash a bath there. Um, and yeah, it, it feels strange to not have Jay in this house. This is the first full episode we've played in this house without him around. Um, so it's strange that both him and Alfonso are now both gone. Um, and it's just kind of their house now. You know, Jay and Alfonso were the ones who kind of bought this house and moved everyone here. And Leo and Charlotte, Leo and Charlotte, Leo and Willow even, are still a lot younger. But now I guess Leo's kind of inherited it. Um, since Willow and Rocco kind of went off and bought their own house, I think she's kind of okay with Leo being like, well, you know. We've been living here a while. Maybe we should just stay here. Um, and we'll see who maybe, if it stays in the family. Oh, Charlotte is apparently ill, but she just finished painting a masterpiece. I mean, it, it, masterpiece, is it? It looks like you sneezed on it, but it's worth 1,600 Samodians, so well done you. Uh, so we'll do that. In terms of other plans for this episode, um, I feel like he's got another day left of mourning. Um, maybe to find some peace with it. Um, oh, man, you're getting a phone call. Elias Garza would like to come over to hang out. Who the hell is that? No. Um, but yeah, it's still very much a period of mourning for Leo. He's got another day or so left until he like can fully move on, I think. Um, but what I was thinking maybe for this episode, since Jay managed to finish the rocket... We'll, I'm rebuilding that before he passed away, um, right here. Maybe um, we could go on a little trip back to Sixham, back to um, Alfonso's home planet, so Leo can kind of see a bit more of his heritage. He hasn't been there since he was a little boy. Um, 
So I thought maybe he could take Charlotte there, maybe take Tara there as well. Um, you know, if she, once she's finished with school, that could be a good thing of helping him. You know, accept that uh, Alfonso and Jay are both gone, kind of move forward from that. Because obviously he's an elder now, he's going to be slowing down a bit. He's going to be wanting to, you know, take one last trip back to Sixum if he can. Uh, just see it with his older and wiser eyes, because it's been a while. Oh, he's going to cry out in bed. Oh my god, he can water plants with his tears. Oh. We do have a trash plant here, um, which isn't ideal. Um, I'm not quite sure how we get rid of it. I know there's a way, I need to research it, because it's not the most pleasant sight as you walk up to the house. Just chilling with your fish tacos in the middle of the kitchen. Um, but, you know, at least Leo still has a big support network around him with his wife and his daughter. Two dogs, a cat, you know, still kind of a very active, busy home. Um, so I think that also helps, even though a big part of it's gone now that Jay's passed away. There's still a lot of kind of voices and a lot of distractions around the house. Almost makes me feel a bit sad now. Look at this gym. I'm not sure this gym will ever get used again, especially because Leo's an elder as well now. Like, Leo was never quite as into fitness. He, like, he kept fit and stuff. He did do some exercise. Um, obviously, being an elder, he's not going to be doing as much of that now. Um, but it was definitely Jay and Alfonso who got more use out of the gym. Um, so it's kind of sad to see it so empty and it probably will just stay empty. Unless, you know, in generations to come, there's someone who, like, whether they, the house stays in the family and, you know, someone later on down the line in future generations gets quite into fitness and will use it. Or if they just sell the house on to someone else entirely um, and they're into um, all their different stuff as well, all their fitness stuff, maybe then. But for now, it's going to be kind of a, a quieter room in the house. Did you make any friends at school? Charles. Charles Ewing. Isn't that the surname of the people um, from Dallas? <laughs> Are they the Ewings? Ewings? I, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. I never watched Dallas, but... Um, yes, you are hungry. So, good news for you, Tara. Your mum actually made some... fish tacos there. So you can do that. Um, and you made one friend at school, so that's cool. Um, average performance at school, but we can work on that anyway. That's fine. She's just having a chat with her new friend. So I think we'll wait for Tara to finish up her food, and then we will... Um, try and uh, test out this rocket and hopefully don't crash and die in it. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Um, so yeah, I think it might do Leo some good and give him some peace of mind if he goes back to six. And so Leo did kind of consider, like, should I ask Willow if she wants to come along as well? I think Willow's a bit busy. Um, I think she's kind of found her own ways of making peace. You know, she's written a few books about Alfonso and Jay's passing. I think she's kind of found her own way of making peace with that. Um, I don't know if she's quite as like, oh yeah, let's absolutely go back to six and one last time. I don't think she quite has that mindset in the way Leo does. Um, so if it's going to be beneficial to him, it's all good. But, you know, it's nice that he kind of put the offer out for Willow to come if she wanted. So, here we go. Let's explore some space. I love that animation of them taking off. And away they go. So, hopefully, um, on path to six and now. Well, um, didn't go very well, you might have guessed. Well, okay. Hmm. I mean, that's one way of honouring Jay. Jay also tries to fly in the spaceship and crashed it, you know? So, it's not the end of the world. You didn't die. Um, probably going to feel quite guilty because Jay spent his final days rebuilding that, and then you just destroyed it instantly. So maybe no trip to Sixum on the cards today. You know, he still has time left. Maybe next time we visit this household, maybe then they'll try it. But for now, <laughs> they're going to have to rebuild the entire rocket. So there we go. That was worth me putting in some time rebuilding it and adding all the extras so they could travel through the wormhole. So Charlotte can help him out rebuilding. Um, she's actually been doing some swimming, which is a strange time of day to do it. But, well, she's just vibing. She's just having, she's having fun. Um, but Charlotte's going to come and help Leo out, just try and ease his guilt a bit, I think. Um, Tara's too young to do any of that stuff, which is fair. Um, so maybe, in fact, you can do your homework, can't you? 
So there we go, Charlotte's kind of helping Leah out now with rebuilding. And um, they've already made a lot of progress, though, how quickly they've done that. Um, but yeah, she's probably just saying, you know what, don't feel bad about it. You know, I think Alfonso and Joe both get an absolute hoot and a big laugh out of watching you try that, considering, you know, Jay did exactly the same thing not too long ago. Um, just, you know, doing anything she can to try and make Leo feel a bit better. Um, I think that would cheer him up a bit. I think he would find the irony in that quite funny. So, yeah, she just say, you know, don't feel so bad about yourself. It's all in jest. You know, they would have gotten a good laugh out of it. Just doing anything she can to make him feel better. I think um, we'd also have Leo call Willow and say, you'll never guess what happened. So, yeah, not the most successful um, trip. Uh, kind of scuppered what I planned for this episode. Um, cause it might take a bit of a while to get the ship fully upgraded again. But what can you do? Uh... You may have some stories in mind, but The Sims is all... They're always going to have um, curveballs to throw at you in terms of your story. And like, I kind of like that. Um, it's a lot more fun, I think, playing The Sims when everything you plan out doesn't always kind of work. Seiji Okada. I recognise that name. Didn't he visit Willow in that lot recently? He won't be visiting again, that's for damn sure. Look! It's Jay! Oh, Jay's here, and Tara's also scared of the monster under the bed, so... Oh, lots of spooky things are happening here. Um, but oh, Look at that, I think Jay's kind of sensed that Leo's going through it, having a bit of a tough time. Um, moving on. Accepting. So now he's kind of helping out. Been like, oh look! Oh look, he actually is as well! Jay's ghost is spraying the monster under the bed because his granddaughter's scared and oh his son's struggling. I normally like to pretend that um, they can't see the ghosts like this but I'm just seeing this as like he's kind of sensing like a comforting presence around him um, so he can't actually he doesn't know that like, oh my dad's ghost is there it's just kind of more of a symbolic kind of thing but I think being overcome with that kind of familiar feeling is probably going to help him feel a lot better. Um, and yeah, it is kind of getting late now, so these guys really need to get to bed. Okay, so Jay's retirement pace come in. You get 1,038 simoleons a day, so damn good. Um, and now Tara needs to go into school. And Leo's actually feeling happy this morning, so I feel like his experience with Jay's kind of ghostly presence last night was actually kind of a comfort to him. And... Not a comfort to him is this disgusting sink. Yeah, clean that out. Um, then maybe to get out of the house. Oh, stereo's broken. Just replace that. Tara's gone to school. Um, oh, and <laughs> lovely. Just hire a repair service for that. Why not? Let's not throw all our money away now that Leo's no longer working. Well, <laughs> these two are still getting flirty. I'm trying to get them to talk about Leo's grief and his feelings. And the fact that he's feeling better when Charlotte just flirts with him. Um, and he's still being very loud. Um, but yeah, clearly, even though Leo's older now, the spark is still there, thankfully. Um, Charlotte's birthday, actually. Ah, we've got the guy fixed the thing for us. Thank you. Charlotte's birthday's not for a little while now. It's like, yeah, about nearly two weeks away. Um, so it's actually the day after Tara's birthday, which is kind of funny. Um, so yeah. It's kind of got a little while yet before Charlotte becomes a full elder. Um, but yeah, I like that these two can still just sit down and have a chat and... Oh, there we go. He's complimenting her appearance. He's like, oh god, I remember when I didn't have wrinkles, she looked so good. And since the spark, I'm sure is still alive, you two can woohoo, because when don't you anyway, let's be honest. Oh, he literally even wants to, so there you go, buddy. You enjoy that. Nothing changes there. So let's focus on the cat while they do that. How are you doing, honey? Welcome home. How is Flash doing? Oh, they're both really hungry. Well, they're a bit busy at the moment. Right, well, now all that's out of the way. Charlotte's feeding the dogs. Um, and you can start on all these upgrades again. I can't believe this is the third time I've had to do this. Oh, and Charlotte's been working on a different painting, I see, which is literally one... It's basically that pose, but without faces and stuff. I think she's done it before. Um, but you might as well finish it off. I've been kind of thinking about obviously like an end game for the series now because after this episode it's only going to be five more. Um, 
And I don't know. Charlotte is, you know, a bit younger than Leo, as we've seen. Um, she's not going to be an elder for a little while yet. So I think Leo's going to be gone potentially even before she even becomes an elder, maybe. I'm not even sure how it's going to work. But I think Charlotte will kind of be on her own for a long time in, like, her later years. Um, and because she's obviously a deep-sea diver and everything, I feel like maybe she'd retire out in, like, Solani, the island. Um, so I feel like maybe that'd be a good place for her to go, maybe when all this is said and done. And if that's the case, because Leo will be gone, Willow will probably be gone around the same time as Leo, because, you know, twins. Um, and that's just how the Sims work. Um... I probably will be going around similar times. Um, it's a question of who gets the house, really. Like, do we just sell this house on? Do we give it to someone else in the family? Maybe Tara will just inherit it when she's older. Um, I have plans for Daniel. And we kind of set some stuff up in the last episode um, for Daniel. So I don't think he's going to be getting the house. Certainly not for a while. Um, so maybe they talk about it with Willow and everything and say, who should we leave the house to? Um... I don't know, maybe Daniel could have a stake in it or something, I'm not sure. Um, get some of the assets from it. Or we just kind of call it the end of an era and sell the house on. But I, I like the idea, it's kind of comforting to know the house could always still just be there for someone. Um, so I guess I guess we'll see. I don't know. Um, Tara wants to invite classmate Charles over. Absolutely you can. Well, he seems to be fascinated by the grass, so good for him. But it's nice that Tara's making some friends now. Um, he looks kind of sad. Um, ah, you're Charles Ewing, aren't you? We've just had a notification about someone Ewing. Victoria Ewing has died. So maybe that's why you're sad. It's probably a relative of yours. Um, so here's Charles, like, la 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 la, happy, happy, happy. Oh yeah, look, he's very sad. Aww. Maybe he just wanted a bit of a distraction. He's like, he wanted to come over to a friend's house because he doesn't want to be at home right now because he's just lost a relative, I guess. Um, asking about his day, that's probably actually a very bad question really, isn't it? I think you kind of, you know how his day is. Um, tell him a goofy story, just try and make him laugh, cheer him up. Um, oh, Charles is a loner, but he still wanted to be your friend. So that says a lot about how great you are, doesn't it, Tara? So Charlotte's in the pool again. Um, she was a bit earlier as well. This Elias guy needs to go away. Um, so yeah, she's just kind of chilling. Having fun here. She's kind of gotten into this recently, it would seem. I guess she's taking up a new leisurely activity in swimming. You might as well make use of the pool, since you've got one. Uh, but she does have work very soon, so you should probably actually get out and get ready. Okay, Charlotte's heading off to work, so that's good. Um, record underwater footage, why not? And I feel like Leo is going to come and take a seat in his dad's chair. Just to reflect. It's obviously a bit rainy and stuff outside, but just a few moments. Now he's kind of feeling better about the whole situation. It's probably sweet. Um, I don't like what the dog's doing in the background there. I feel like that was a bad thing he just did. There seemed to be a lot of squattage going on. So maybe don't go in the bathroom for a little while. Maybe leave that to someone else, Leo. Um, ah, he's come here as well to check that he's doing okay. I think Leo's clearly found a bit more peace and he's gotten better, so that's good. Okay, so Charles is still feeling quite down, so Tara's kind of having a word with her dad and saying that Charles, I think, has just lost someone in his family. Could you maybe, like, introduce yourself, talk to him about it, maybe see if he, you know, wants to talk about his feelings, stuff like that, just working through his grief. Um, and Leo's like, that's a very sweet idea, and absolutely try and do that. So he's just kind of getting Charles involved in the conversation and just kind of checking on him, making sure he's doing okay, offering him some food and drink if he wants it. Um, and just letting him know, I think, if he needs to talk about things, he can absolutely do that. Um, and then he's gone to spray the monster under the bed, probably in preparation for the evening, in case it shows up again, because that played Tara was asleep last night. So there we go. Charles is actually heading home now. I think, you know, what Leah was saying to him kind of made him feel like he needed to go home to his family and you know, be with them so he can have some support. He can support people in return over their loss in their family. Um, so that's, I think, a very good thing that Tara and Leo both did for him there. Okay, Tara, I think maybe he's going to have, you know, more of an interest in the pets now. Um, she's going to try and teach some of the dogs to sit and roll over, all that kind of stuff. This is some very wholesome stuff. Oh look. 
Shart's working on the new painting, and it's kind of similar to like these ones she's done before, but she's putting like some shading and stuff in there now and shadows. So I think that's actually kind of shown like how she's improved and like stepping up. So it feels like this was kind of a step one, and then step two, and now she can achieve stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Like, the dog wants to go for a walk, so Leo, you can go and take it out on a walk. I think Tara saw her mum going for a swim earlier, and now she wants to get involved. Which is fair enough, little late night swim just before bed, tie you out a bit I suppose. So here's Leo and Flash just going on a little stroll, um, more wholesome dog moments, just like Tara training him earlier. So yeah, he's he seems a lot more content now, as he, you can see he's energised, he's kind of got a lot of energy back now, um, working through his grief. Obviously it's not something you can get over I think, but you can get used to it. Um, so yeah, it's kind of, they found the new normal I think, which is very nice. and it, it allows them to still be able to enjoy, you know, the last years of Leo's life still. Um, yeah, he seems a lot more peaceful and grounded now. Here we are again, look. Monster under the bed. Not ideal. Why don't you try talking to it? Maybe it's a friendly monster. Oh. It was not a friendly monster. <laughs> oh, there we go. She tried again and she made friends with the monster. She can't wait to find out more about it. Well, that's kind of disturbing, but there you go. I think Charlotte's coming to spray it anyway, but never mind. Diamond Hathaway's died. I think, I think that was kind of sort of a love interest for Leo. They kind of had a bit of a thing. It never got serious, but they had a bit of a thing, I think, um, when he was at uni, particularly um, Diamond. I'm pretty sure that's her, but she's just passed away. So there you go. That was a little minor character from years gone by. Flash has passed his peak and has become an elderly dog. Oh, Flash. Oh, no. No more losses, please. Um, oh, yeah, look, you can see he's a lot greyer and stuff, can't you? Oh. And meanwhile, Apollo's just filthy, but they are both hungry, so we will fix that. Oh, Charlotte wants to embrace Theo. She just wants to make sure her husband's okay. Once again, Honey is an absolute mood. I love that the only one who actually uses the big-ass pet mat is the smallest pet in the house. Okay, so, bright new day, early in the morning. Leo's project today is to be continuing on with the rocket. Um, oh, Shart's got started another painting already. Um, not quite sure what that's going to be. It's kind of cartoony, so I'm intrigued. Tara is engrossed in this bowling video game. She seems to be having fun though, so that's good. I'm not quite sure what it looks like, to be honest. Um, looks like a triangle there. Maybe that's kind of a weird eye. It's like some cat ears, a love heart. I almost get like some like headphones from that shape there. It, you can certainly um, interpret it in different ways, I suppose. Honey looks in need of attention. Pets and cuddles are in order. She just wants some attention. Oh, and um, we've got a gift as well. So that's good. Um, play with the laser pointer. Let's do that. Um, and then pick up the box that Apollo kind of found on the hunt. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I love doing this with my cat. She loves the laser pointers. Look at them go. Where is it, honey? Where is it? All right, let's see what's in here. Open that up. One purple protector action figure. Okay, they found an action figure. Interesting. Um, can we kind of display that somewhere, maybe? Should we put it? Maybe just on this desk in Tara's room. I don't know if she's that into action figures, but she's got one now. So there we go. That's the purple protector. That's kind of cool, though. Cool female superhero for Tara to kind of like and admire. Not a bad role model, so that's kind of cool. Oh, no, now Garrett Ewing has died. Man, Tara's friend Charles is not having a good time. Okay, ignore the fact that Apollo stinks, but... Apollo and Honey have been hanging out a lot, especially since Honey um, ran away. So I thought those two are actually like really good friends, which I quite like. I love the idea of like a cat and dog best friend. Right, Leo's finished that upgrade, so he's probably had enough of that for the day, isn't he? That took him nearly five hours, I think. Um, meanwhile, I think Honey actually wants to go into space, so she's, she's going to sneak aboard. Hey, Tara's been working hard and she is now a grade B school student. Amazing. Well done, Tara. Um, it's, Cost a, a very stressful school day, but 
You've been working hard, so well done. Oh, getting a call. Elias, go away. I've been doing some digging on him. He's a married man, so he needs to stay away. So now we've kind of started to move on a bit. We're starting to heal, established a new normal in the house. Um, I feel like Charlotte's just going to want to do something kind of traditional-esque. Um, just cook a grand meal for everyone for this evening. And they can just kind of sit down as a family together and just have fun. Oh my god, dog. I just had to stop you doing this and clean up the trash and you've just done it again. Okay, so Tara's having to go into work now. So we're going to have Leo actually finish off the turkey dinner. So it's kind of a nice collaborative effort and then they can eat that all together once Charlotte's home from work. Tara's just talking to her dad as well, helping him out. Saying, oh, what can I do? What can I do? So I'm... I'm Sure, he'll kind of be like, oh, you know, this put a bit of salt on it when it comes out. Just, like, make her think she's done a big deal, you know. Don't want her to get injured or to completely ruin the meal or anything. There we go. So that is done. Place it there. Let's put it around there. And then once, um, oh, a bit of drama for Jacob and Rhea. One of them's a vampire. So there you go. That's... Bit of an obstacle, I guess. Uh, so yeah, Charlotte should be home fairly soon, and when she is, family meal time. There you go. Bought home 210 Sumerians. So come back into the house. And then she calls everyone over to have the family meal together. Nice end to you know a somewhat quiet-ish week, but kind of a necessary one because it's still a period of mourning and just moving forward. And there we go. Nice family meal. Um, obviously with the dogs getting involved, they probably want some for themselves, which is fair enough. There'll be plenty for them later on, I suppose. Um, but yeah, it's just nice to kind of see these guys take a moment to just relax, chat. Um, just accept that this is kind of what life's going to be like for, you know, probably the rest of Leo's life, certainly. Um, and yeah, we're going to kind of call it there for this episode. But Leo... Um, he was really struggling at the start of this episode, like he, more than I was actually expecting him to. Um, but I suppose losing both your parents, you know, knowing that they're both gone is probably quite difficult. So he's been working through that, kind of came through the other side of it as well, which is good. Tried to go to Sixham to find some peace there. Did not work out, so we can always try that again at some point in a future episode. Uh, maybe the one after the next. Um... Tara has kind of met a few friends at school. She even helped one of them through a couple of deaths in his family with Leo's help as well. So that was kind of nice. Honey came home, which is wonderful. Charlotte's still doing good stuff with her paintings and her job. And Tara became a grade B student at school as well. So, yeah, the end of quite a lot really happening, even though it was a slower week for these guys. Um, they finished off their meals. Nice kind of chance to just be a family together. And straight away, Charlotte's back at it as well. She can't stop painting. Um, Tara's probably off to do her homework, in fact. Let's get her on that. Make sure she's done that in time. Um, oh, wow. She helped Charles so much, he's now aged up into a teenager. So there you go. Um, that was unexpected. Do your homework. Um, and yeah, Leo, as you can see, more of a smile on his face now than when we first joined him in this episode. Um, ah, she's still doing her homework next to Dad. That's kind of wholesome. Um, but yeah, he's kind of... Moving on, moving forward, um, because what else can you really do? But he's definitely found a lot more peace to things. And he's just going to talk to a plant, because why the hell wouldn't you? I feel like aliens in this game have a lot of things with like talking to plants and stuff. But people do it anyway. They, isn't there like theories that can help them grow? I don't know if it actually does, but there you have it. Um, and yeah, with that, with him sat in his dad's chair, thinking about the good times and the good times that are still yet to come... Um, we're going to call it there, but thank you all so much for watching. Off he goes, and with that, I will see you next time.